Hi Darkroom friends, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how you can add a folder to your computer or to a network. And anytime an image is dropped into that folder, it's automatically processed and then printed or whatever output you want to assign to it. And I know a lot of you are saying, okay Eugene, you, we've seen this before, this is the hot folder camera in core, but the difference here is it's not importing the image, it's just processing it and you can have multiple folders set up to do different tasks. So let's jump right in and see what, how we set this up and how it works. Okay, so this video doesn't have a lot of Christmas theme as I promised. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I have a new computer, you may notice it's Windows 11. Uh, so it's a Surface Pro. So if you guys are using Surface Pros, and you're excited to see something that is more similar to your workflow, uh, give me a comment below. But the first thing we're gonna do is let's update that background um, and try to make it just a little bit more Christmassy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a folder directly to our desktop and this is just for uh, demonstration purposes. I would put it in a, more, uh, a better location. I'll show you an example uh, towards the end of how I really use this uh, in my own workflow. So we'll call it four by six and then let's do another one and we will call this one five by seven. And you can have a whole bunch of different print sizes and you'll see that in just a moment. So in core, we are going to go to hot folder and online input. And we're gonna click add hot folder Browse to that 4x6 folder. And there it is. And then we're going to say, turn a 4x6. And we want to make sure we enable that. And then let's add one for a 5x7 hot folder again. That's a five by seven. And add the five by seven print. So, and you can see that you can also add a template on this print item if you wish. For this situation, I'm not. But at this point, we'll enable monitoring for that. Okay, so now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and try this out. Um, let me, First thing I want to do is let you uh, see that my new orders is completely empty. I'm going to make the screen just a little bit smaller. We'll open up our 4x6 window and I'm going to just copy in an image real quick. And you can see that the image actually didn't show up right here. It worked that quickly. If we refresh, the orders are already here. Uh, let's try that one more time just so you can see it. Um, copy in a different image. And there's the order. Um, and it happens that quickly. Here's the 5x7 one, so we can just double check to make sure I'm not lying. Copy in my 5x7 image. If we look, the first two are 4x6s. Last one's a 5x7. So, um, this is how it becomes a little bit more powerful than the hot folder camera. The hot folder camera is still good because these images are not actually being imported into the software. So the hot folder camera still has its place. This is just to run a workflow. Um, and where this becomes really powerful is, let's say you're in a studio environment or a lab environment and you have your graphic designer or uh, your editor and they work on a Mac. Well, a Mac can move an image from one folder to another one. Let's say they're using Lightroom. Lightroom, you can have an export preset that automatically saves a certain size to a folder. And once that image is saved, then it can, Darkroom then takes over. So you can see if you have somebody that prefers working on a Mac or even Windows in Lightroom for developing raw images and then moving the images over. Also from a sales standpoint, if you have a, a setup where 
um, you're using a sales system outside a darkroom and you're able to move a file from one folder to another uh, to be printed or to be uh, uploaded or this really doesn't work so well for email because you have to enter an email address for that so this is more of an automated process but um, kind of get your your brain fluids working and thinking about how you can use this it's a very very powerful tool um, and I thought you would appreciate seeing it thanks so much for watching oh wait 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 I promised in a real world situation how this is useful this is actually how I have my a lot of my prints set up because I do work on a Mac um, so I have a server computer over here running darkroom pro you don't need pro this works with core but if i log into it i have my 4x6 5x7 8x10 folders already set up and i can prove to you this is something that i actually do use this allows me to keep my printer wall separate from my desk or my workstation um, and my wife she can place orders for prints and they automatically print out uh, from her office or wherever we are working throughout the house. So there it comes. It's coming off a computer that's totally not even connected to this. The order never processed through this darkroom core. It was handled by a different computer running darkroom. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.